Imagine this. You have a roommate, and one night, you are awoken by a blood-curdling scream coming from their side of the room. You wake up to see them thrashing around in their bed. Suddenly, they sit up, and you can see a look of fear in their face. They get up and start running around the room, and you have no idea what to do. So you stay in your bed and, and stay out of the way. This is a night terror. This might seem like a nightmare, but they are a little bit different from each other. With a nightmare, you, you usually wake up from them and normally you remember at least a part of a night, at least part of your nightmares. But with a night terror, you, you don't normally wake up and you, and you usually, if, and when you have them, you usually forget it and by morning. I found out a lot about night terrors through my research for this speech. Today I would like to inform you about the nature of night terrors, the symptoms, and the ways they can be treated. Let's start with the nature of night terrors. Night terrors are sleep disorder with physical and mental symptoms. According to an article on livehealthily.com, they are defined by doctors as a type of parasomnia and or an abnormal sleep dis behavior or abnormal sleep behavior. They normally occur during first during the first three hours of sleep and episodes can last from a few minutes to 30 to 40 minutes. Some of the causes of night terrors are sleep disruptions or not getting enough good sleep, illness, stress, and trauma. Some of the common physical symptoms of night terrors are, are screaming, thrashing, running around, heavy breathing and a or racing pulse sh struggling to wake up and, or an aggression towards someone trying to help you some of the common mental symptoms are feeling scared and, or, and feeling confused when you wake up now that you know the nature of night terrors let's look at who is likely to be affected by them Night terrors mostly affect children, but they can also happen in adults. They are also common in families with history of night of, with history of sleepwalking. Given how scary they given how scary they seem, I'm sure you're wondering how they can be treated. There are three main treatments for night terrors. The first main treatment is to get enough good sleep. As I mentioned earlier, one of the causes of sleep terrors is not getting enough good sleep. So it is important to have a regular sleep schedule and good sleep hygiene. Another treatment for night terrors is to try de-stress and relax before going to bed. One of the other symptoms I mentioned is stress. So it is important to make sure you are, you are relaxed and not stressed before you go to bed. One way to do that is by journaling. This is a good way to relax your mind and and to and de-stress before going to sleep. The third the third main treatment to is to keep a to keep a diary. Keep track of night terrors in a diary to see to find patterns and see, and to see what's causing them so you can find a way to stop them. Night terrors can be scary, but fortunately, they can be treated. As I was researching for this speech, my eyes were open to a to a disability I didn't that I didn't realize had can impact more people than just the person who dealing with the disability.
having night terrors can also affect someone you you a room someone you share a room or a bed with if you know someone or live with someone who has night terrors a way you can help them is by is is by staying with them when it happens and if they wake up comfort them by talking to them in a soothing voice As I as I learned about this uh, as I learned about this disability, I realized how important it is to raise awareness for disabilities like night terrors and and more. It is important to let people suffering with this disorder to know that there are people that they can lean on and that are there for them when they need it. It is important to raise awareness about night terrors so you can help people who have them or people who know people who have them. It is important to let them to be to be a comforting person to those who have to to those who have night terrors. By by raising awareness for this disorder, we can we can help people help others who are we can di- get rid of this disorder and and stop people suffering from from the disorder and help them not have to suffer anymore. I hope you take what you learned from this speech and can help others or others who are suffering from this disorder or people you know who, who people you know who know people suffering with this disorder thank you